Hi everyone. Well, it's been a long time, I must admit. Quite a long time. Um, I am going to show you the mess of this place in a minute, okay? It is a tip again. I have been tidying up, but I took a little bit of footage and you'll see what I mean. Really got to get this organised because at the minute it is upside down. In fact, the whole house is upside down. Well, apart from the lounge, I've started decorating downstairs and that's looking a lot better. But we've got to get this craft room up and running because at the moment I am not doing a lot. I need to get some more YouTube videos out. I want to start concentrating more on my art, as you know. I have no embroidery machine anymore. That's gone. So, yeah, I've got a few more bits and pieces I've got to sell. There's stuff in my Etsy shop again. You'll see the links down below. They, um, I'm trying to cut the prices down as much as I can to get rid of it. And you'll see I've cut them down again. Now, I've got to get rid of the fabrics. I don't, I don't, I just don't want it all here anymore. I want to start afresh and clean slate and carry on with my art um, and other little crafting things. For instance, I'm going to be sublimating onto mugs and stuff like that. My art, that is. I'm going to be doing card making, stamping, stuff like that. Easy little things, you know? Um, things that are a little bit more inexpensive. So, yeah. Embroidery can work out very expensive. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to get on with the job at hand. See you in a minute. Please send help. <laughs> I've shifted everything from downstairs, all my art stuff from downstairs, and um, as you can see, I've brought it all back up here. Um, I have made that table smaller. To get more room in, I uh, I have sort of sorted out that there. There's my painting equipment, <clears throat> but I've got a lot more of it all over the floor here. Uh, I need to organise everything because at the minute it's very, 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 very disorganised, and I don't know where to start. It's turned really cold up here as well. So I need to start thinking about putting the heating on. <sighs> Look at it all. Look at it. That box full of stuff there is all stuff that's been sold on my Etsy shop. Well, most of it in there somewhere. There's just stuff everywhere. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I bought a load of stuff for the bathroom as well. So I'm in the middle of decorating the bathroom. So I thought I'd go for this colour. Like a rose gold and pink. Got some towels to match and some of this stuff here. But we'll see. We'll see how we go with that. And for Christmas, I bought some of these little robins. They were only £5 from BNM. So I thought they would be nice for my granddaughter. She'd like those. inks and I think that is all wasted space I'm gonna get uh, some shelving from Ikea some more of these here and possibly some of the drawers as well so we can hide it away a bit so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that out of there for now um, and that's my watercolor stuff with some of it in there so we'll take that out that down there and I think what I'll do is I'll put these pens in there okay so we could put those in there for the time being 
she said. For the time being, um, put the alcohol inks back in there as well. And uh, let's have a look. These are my watercolour books here, and so are these. So I think what I'll do is I'll put those in there. Get those two out and pop them in there. Uh, that's gold leafing, so let's put that in there. There's some beading stuff there. More pens. Um, hmm. oh, I think I'll leave that lot up there for the time being. They're alcohol pens as well. Got more marker pens. Okay, right. Now then, um, I've got some inking stuff in here as well, which you need to sort in. Some more pens back here. Uh, what to do? Let's pop those in with the. Let's pop them in there. Pop them there for now. So then we'll have some space up here. Oh. One of those things for the embroidery machine. Hmm. Right, that is for beading. So I think I'm going to put that in with that there. So that's all my beading stuff. We have some more threads. So I'll pop that in there. And the ribbon. Um, put that over with the ribbons. Actually, I've got more ribbon down here. So I'll put that in there. I'll figure out what I'm doing with all this as well because I don't want to keep all this. So try and quick get that rid of that. Some stabilizers and stuff in there. Oh, look what we've found here. Iron on tear away stabilizer. I won't be needing that anymore, will I? Or will I? <sighs> Let's have a sort out of that. And then we've got stuff in here, we've got some stickers in there. So let's have a look. Let's put them back there. And we've got some HTV vinyl and some embroidery vinyls there, or bow making stuff. So I'll sort through that. That's just more rubbish in there. Uh, I don't know what to do with that. I'll pop that there for the time being. I want to get this fabric all measured up and get that sold, get it out of the way. I'm debating whether to, um, ugh. I'm debating whether to sell my industrial sewing machine. Not sure about that yet. I've got all these buttons in here, which come in handy for card making and stuff like that. So I will be, I'm going to use them up, but I need to find some form of shelving to put all those in. I'm going to get something to go up there. I'm going to get something to go across here. Either I get a big tall shelving unit and then put stuff in or get another desk in there. I don't know. I don't think I need any more desks. And if I get rid of the sewing machine, then I can have more workspace there. So I think what I'm going to do is get a tall shelfer in here. This cupboard here, at the moment, it's got fabric in it, which I'm hoping to get rid of. Once that's all rid of, I'm going to get some shelving and just put that in there. Then I will probably just shut that off with these doors still. So, I'll leave that as that. That table's going to stay like that, with a computer and everything. Um, I might use that table for... Um, doing lives and stuff, for instance, doing card making. I don't know yet. I might just do my card making over here, which this is gonna be the art table. So I brought my easel up. I did have a massive easel, but I sold it. There's no point, so I've stuck with this one. As you can see, it is very well used. Look at the buildup of paint on that. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> um, so yeah, so, and this is also going to be my resin table as well, so I will be resin, resining on here. I might move my printers, um, I'll see, 
because I don't want them too close to paint and stuff. Uh, there's my little sewing machine over the back there. And I think I just got to really organise some of this stuff. Get a bit more organisation going. We've got fabrics down there, which I I'm going to keep all the little bits of fabric, I think, for the time being. But yes, we'll get there, won't we? We have got, look at it all, I bought some of these infusible ink pens to uh, paint on the mugs to see how they turn out. I bought this for my Cricut which is a foil transferring kit so I'm looking forward to using that. There's the foil, I've got some gold and I got, did I get silver as well? I can't remember but yeah. So I've got some of that, I've got some more infusible ink pens so I can paint my own designs on them. Um, in here we have a lot of ink pads for stamping, some stamping sets, look at this look, so I'm looking forward to using those, oh look, look at that, that looks nice, I'm looking forward to using that as well, it's all to do with die cutting and stamping, bought a couple of those um, blending tools, I haven't got any of them and some more of those actually did i get let's have a look they are slightly different so there we go look and these were only two quid two pounds a block it's not bad is it um <clears throat> same with the ink pads they were only two quid and i got some of this matte acrylic paints i quite like the color of that um and some embossing powder. Was that the hol oh, that's the holographic stuff? Uh, and then I got some of this stuff here, which I've got to find out. It's glitter kiss, so I've got to find out how to use that. Some more stamps. There's a little reindeer. Um, some trees, Christmas trees. Oh. It's okay. So there's a load of stamping stuff in there. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. Look at it. Oh, some more there. More letters. What's this here? Oh, yeah. Little bear kit. Stamping kit. See, that looks so cute. Oh, so, I'm going to have fun with that. Then, we got some cardstock. So, I bought some premium cardstock in white. Some of the coloured cardstock. Some black cardstock. Then we've got, that's the embossing stuff there, so we've got that over there a minute. Then here I bought a light box, an ultra thin light box. That didn't cost much either, it's about £16. And then in here I bought some of these pre-done cards, pre-packed cards. I quite like this uh, look, the brown ones. And then I bought another Cricut mat because my other one's a bit naff. And then these are Cricut mugs. So I bought three packs of, um, how many was in a pack? 12. So it's 12 ceramic mugs. Um, is that right? I think so, yeah. Just check, yeah. Three packs of mugs, which were in there. So there we go. I, I think buying the mugs this way worked out better and they're cricket special you know cricket ones so they're ideal for the cricket heat press as well um let's get rid of that, <coughs> get rid of that as well. right let's open one of these just to verify what's in here i don't know if they come in another box or whether or not they come in this box here 
here. Just this box. I'll have to buy the mugs things to go send them out in. Oh, there we go, look. So we got, that's ideal. Let's just tip those down a minute. Okay. There we go. Let's just check that none are broken. Usually, Cricut, and what I've had before, is pretty good. Don't get many, if any, breakages. So, there we go, look. Looking pretty good. Yeah, fine. Well packaged. These are the 12 ounce mugs, so, there we go. Sorry, you get six for, um, how many? Six for what? Six of the 12 ounce mugs for, I can't remember now. I don't think it was 17 pounds, I can't remember. But six mugs, not bad. So I've got six, 12, 18 mugs. <sighs> and I think I'll leave those box behind me in. cardboard much to my husband's disappointment <laughs> I'm the light in your darkness I can come to your dreams you can think it's just madness but I'll fight with your Right, so I've bought some of these trays here, paper trays. So there's packs of two of those. So I got two lots of that. I bought these little drawer sets, which I ordered six, but they only had five. So um, there's four there and there's another one here. So it's these things here. And these are going to be for my um, stamping stuff, my ink, uh, my pens and stuff like that. And I thought they were quite handy. And what I did was I purchased a, um, I bought this table here, but, and I also got a pegboard. Um, I bought this here. I'll show you what that's for in a minute. I bought some more of these Calyx uh, stuff. So I've got the glass doored shelving and I've got some of the um, drawers. So I've got one, two, three, four packs of those. Um, I think there's one one drawer in each one. It looks like there's a lot of stuff there for one drawer, but it's one drawer in each one. Um, and then I bought this shelf here. Basically, I'm going to have these piled up to twos and then put the shelf on the top. So that's more space. Um, I've got a couple of shelving units here, which are actually that high. So one of those is going to go in that cupboard and then the other one is going to go here. And then I've got that table, which I'm hoping is going to fit in here. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that one yet. Um, I bought this stand here for my um, Mac, my Apple Mac, iMac, so that I can put the keyboard and everything underneath. And the, sta the, the screen is higher because I find I'm straining my neck all the time when I'm using this computer. Um, these are little bits and pieces that go onto the pegboard. I've got some hooks there, a couple of those. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, these are little cabinets. So I'll put those together and I'll show you what they are. Um, I think that is about it. We've got the four legs over here. That's going on the table. Yeah, I think that's it. And I've got to just organise all my crafting stuff. So I've got all that lot there. Those That in the corner there was an old 
chest of drawers which fell to pieces so i need to put those paints somewhere i'm not sure where yet so i think i better get making don't you everything is in a bit of a mess as usual right okay <laughs>
Porsche to go on it. Have a look what we've got in here. We've got what I've ordered. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. So we've got some heat proof gloves, which I ordered small. Um, <laughs> they do look quite small. Oh, they think, I think they're going to be fine. Yes. Oh, brilliant. It's got my heat proof gloves for my Cricut mug press. That's ideal. And then I've got this book here. So I'm hoping to have a nice read of that. It's not a diet book. It's basically a feel good book. Um, so I'm going to have a nice read through that. See where it gets me. That's that box. Let's have a look in the next box, shall we? Um, I think I know what this is. I think this is butcher's paper. Mm. Yes, it is. There. So I ordered a roll of this for the mug press butcher's paper and um, yes it's in brown but that should be fine so there we go it is that right okay let's get rid of all this cardboard so i've put one of these shelving units in this cupboard here and so far i mean everything's not all in fantastic order um but at least some stuff's been cleared away um, so I've got my cricket mugs at the bottom there, my wooden stuff at the bottom there, what fabrics I'm going to be keeping. I think I have still got some available in my Etsy shop, I'm not sure. Zipper up there, felt and t-shirts up there. These are all buttons in here, gloves, more wooden stuff, um, just random papers in there, more buttons, some more acrylic paints. These are my little bottles here. Oh, and a few canvases. Um, I've got some round canvases as well. Then here we have, I've just piled all my other stuff up on the top shelf. Um, these won't be left here. I've got some coasters for my resin. And all different kinds of papers. So we've got sticker paper, sublimation paper, card, more card, more card, uh, photo paper, t-shirt paper. Got a few books that I like to reference to. So I've got some floral um, books. These help with um, drawing ideas, painting ideas. Um, my applique art, magical creatures, uh, more botanical line drawings, sewing books, acrylic painting, which I don't really use. That's a nice book there, The Garden of Eden. That's got some nice illustrations in it um and just some other bits and pieces i picked this up at a what you would call a thrift store we call it a second hand shop um i quite liked it and i don't know what it's got something written on it somewhere i forget now on the side somewhere or on the but anyway so i picked that up i thought it was quite nice so like that then we have down the bottom here some of my inking stuff, cards which won't stay there, acrylic stuff which won't stay there. Um, have we got anything under here as well? Yeah, games and a clock, <laughs> which still needs setting. Uh, over here, uh, I have got a pegboard that I'm waiting to go up. So that's going to go up there. Then I'm going to sort that picture out and put that somewhere up here but neater because it's a bit not in the right place at the minute i got my posca pens and um there we go so i've got my posca, pos, posca pens my alcohol inks i've got more pens in these drawers here um those items there for the pegboard 
Um, I've got more alcohol pens in there, some stamps, candle, uh, watercolour brushes. Um, and then under here we have a set of drawers which I haven't filled up properly yet. I've got to put some more colour stuff in there. I've got books under there. I've got another one of these to do up. So um, that's going to go under here as well. Um, this here I purchased is my glass. It's just a glass. Um, it's a strong piece of glass and I put these little rubber feet on and they're ideal for watercolours. So I can tape my watercolour to that or even using as um, palettes for acrylics and stuff. Uh, so this here, this desk here is going to have to go somewhere. I'm not quite sure where yet. It's a bit of a mess over here, so I haven't really decided what I'm doing there yet. And over here we have a big mess. So what used to be my sewing table, my embroidery table, look, I've moved the shelving up a bit so the table's not so big because I could never get over in that far corner anyway. And I didn't really want to drag it in the middle of the room because otherwise it makes the room smaller. But yeah, I've been trying to catch up on some artwork. As you can see, it's a bit of a bit of a mess. I'm doing all my little um, little daisy and poppy scenes. Uh, and I've started doing these little cottage scenes with wooden embellishments. So they've got to be resined and then framed. That one over there hasn't been resined yet, but I just wanted to see what the frame looked like in it. Um, and then, of course, I've got to finish the details on the rabbit over there. Um, I've got more down there on the chair. <laughs> Stuff's everywhere. But ideally, I want to get another one of these units here. So I want to pick one up from Hobbycraft. I could have done today, but I didn't. I was being lazy, really. I didn't want to have to carry it. Um, so I can sort out more paints because this is getting a bit overloaded now with stuff and I'm, it's finding, I'm finding it really hard to shut the drawers. So, and I want a bit more organisation because I think it's just chucked in at the minute. Uh, and I've got Ikea drawers to go in here, which I've got, a, they're all flat packed and I've got to put them all together so we can clear some of this away and make that look a bit better. Um, I need to do something with this. I don't really want to use this chair for my art because it's too low down I definitely don't want to use that chair because I don't want to get that with paint on it because I love that chair and I don't want to ruin it I could get a cover for it I suppose uh, I'll see I'm debating whether to move my printers somewhere else where have I got my Cricut oh yeah the Cricut machine is currently over there by the window so along with my mug press so I might keep all that lot together because then I'm going to start using my Apple computer to do a bit more of my Cricut design. Use Cricut design space on that because I haven't been doing using that computer very much at all. And I really do need to use it to its full potential. There's plenty of space on there. I think there's like one terabyte or whatever you want to call it, one tbyte. Might be two actually. So <coughs> I might consider purchasing um, Final Cut Pro as well so that... Uh, I've, it's all bought and paid for. I think it's about £249. And then do all my editing up here on the computer. Because I'm finding my iPad at the moment time consuming with uh, space and everything. I'm having to re, like, get rid of space and stuff to be able to do my film editing. So that's it for the time being. I'm going to get along now and try and clear up some of this mess and get a bit of organisation going. I've got a couple of commissions that are going to be in the pipeline soon um so that's that i've got other work that i've got to be catching up on art wise because i've got more that needs to go in the gallery i went to hobbycraft i needed another watercolor book so i picked up another watercolor pad this time i got the one with the this spine because i've, I've had the gummed stuff before and yeah it's good for stopping the buckling but when you're trying to peel them apart, I find it a job and it just does my head in. So it's my watercolour book. I have purchased some more embellishments here. So I'm going to put some of these in my paintings. Um, we've got some Cricut foil for the Cricut. And these are pads. These are basically for your blending foams for your, uh, for like inking and stuff like that, stamping. Um, I bought some of this uh, biodegradable glitter, so I might try this stuff to see what it's like. 
So I always put glitter in my art and I purchased some of this stuff here, which is for stamping, but um, I think it'd be quite good for um, the artwork as well. It's lovely glittery stuff. And then in here we have some of these PBO paints. I've never used this brand before. I start, I think I bought one. Yeah, that's it. I bought, I bought this one online and this is a metallic one one so anyway i've got that one now which is a non-metallic but this pbo stuff looks quite nice this is the acrylics with high viscosity and we've got here the premium quality deco creme um i don't know what it's like but i love the colors of it yeah i could achieve the colors myself by mixing but i thought these were some beautiful colors for making what i have in mind and i love this green i do like that green um and then we have some smaller pots, even though these were like £2.25 each. This is the PBO stuff again. In fact, I wonder if I've doubled up. This is a gloss paint, actually. So um, this is going to have a, a different look to the other paint. Um, but I'll soon find out what it's like. So I've got these lovely pastel colours. Really nice. So I'm looking forward to using them um what else have we got here oh i thought i'd try my hand at doing making some people <laughs> we'll see see what that's like oh, there's another one of these paints here it's a slightly darker purple and then in here we have we have this little stamp there quite like that and some more biodegradable glitter so i'm going to try some of that as well there we go so that's my lot and i bought canvases so that lot's got to be put away. Here we are going over the Tamar Bridge. There's the Brunel Bridge. That's the train bridge. I used to do this trip quite a lot when I used to go and see my nan, who's no longer with me. 